friends, it's me, Rhea Peterson. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are focusing on all things closet. I am going to be doing a massive clothing purge. Maybe shift things around if it will work, but mostly the focus on it is just getting rid of things, getting things clean, getting things organized in my closet. If you're new here, I'm so glad you're here. My name is Rhea Peterson. I upload typically twice a week on Tuesdays and Saturdays, and I cover things like cleaning motivation, organization, mom life, food, and I am so glad you're here. If you haven't already, make sure that you have hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna clear this shelf off first. I'll probably pull stuff off of this. This is just an old set of cubbies that I painted. Originally, Connor and I had these when we first got married because they were cheaper than drawers and it's just kind of stuck. Um, I'd love to do like a whole closet organization system, that kind of thing, but they're expensive and I don't wanna do it until I know what I actually need to organize, so. I'm just gonna pull everything off of these shelves, get them wiped down, and kind of categorize. I know there's stuff up here that doesn't even need to be up here that we can get rid of. Um, and then I'll tackle thinning out all of the clothes. Hopefully this should be quick. Maybe, I don't know. I was looking really forward to getting this closet taken care of. I've mentioned before, Connor and I, like the areas that we have are usually the bottom of the list when it comes to like decorating or new furniture, just because we have three children and their areas are changing more. They're growing faster, their tastes change and like they physically need bigger things like bigger beds and bigger clothes. And so a lot of our focus and funds go to making sure that they have spaces that are functional for them. And our spaces just kind of end up being a mismatch, mishmash of things that are left over. So I'm excited to kind of start putting our focus in our areas to make them more calm, peaceful, more to our taste and just nicer in general but that can get expensive so trying to be smart about it as well this closet as you can see has just we've just been throwing things in there it's not been a focus it's dusty and it's cluttered and like I said as much as I wish is that I could be able to just get like a whole new closet system and completely do it it, it wouldn't be smart to do until I know what we have, what I need to organize. So getting this all done and kind of just taking measurements, making notes as we kind of sit in it once it's organized will make it that much easier to come up with a plan, to budget for it, and to make it functional for our needs. This cubby up here, I do not like it up there, but it does help with the space. I did have some personal items, things that I didn't really want on camera, so I cleared that out separately. But honestly, even though it's not pretty, having these nine extra cubbies in here for stuff is kind of handy. So I'm gonna keep it in there for a little bit longer. So this is everything I pulled off the shelves. A lot of these bins are just full of like old bathing suits and stuff that we don't even wear. Um, I can probably pare down these bags. And then this bin is actually my winter summer bin. So that is staying, but I do need, I'm gonna pull out some of the summer stuff. I might as well, maybe it'll make summer come faster. I don't know. And then just some old stuff. Was anybody else a big scarf person back in the day? I wore pashminas all the time. 
um, but I haven't worn one in like, and, uh, I'm very, I'm very young, so not that long. Actually, it's been a really long time, so I'm probably gonna get rid of these, and I don't know why this is in here, but it's cute. I'll let Alice play with it. I probably confiscated it for some reason. But any donations, I'm gonna just put on the bed. I already have some of Connor's old running shorts over there, but I'm just gonna go through these bins really fast um, and then start thinning out all of this. Well, another reason why I cleared off that top shelf was because I knew there was going to be a lot of stuff that I could get rid of out of these bins, just old bathing suits, things I don't wear anymore, and getting it just organized. I have old running equipment that I don't really use in here. I have just these bags that I couldn't even get to because they were on the bottom and under a bunch of stuff. So I knew that this would be quick work. And the bags, they're all bags that I use so I didn't really need to go through all of them or purge any of these bags. I like to have options for backpacks and stuff depending on what we're doing as a family, where we're going, if we're traveling. And so I do like to keep around a couple of options because honestly, I like to make sure that my bag kind of matches what I'm wearing. So I do have them, but I they're all bags that I do like and that are really, really functional. And then I have some nicer purses that I don't really use that often but I'm holding on to them on the off chance that Alice might want them. So they are staying, but I did need to get them into a dust cover so that they aren't completely useless by the time she's interested in that kind of stuff. But I knew that this one would be quick and we're gonna move into the closet and get these clothes cleared out. I like to run. Uh, fun fact, they do not put how long it took you to run these races, so. That's my piece of advice. I need to find a good way to hang these, so if you have any ideas on what I can do with these, leave them in the comments. I feel like this hanger is gonna give up soon. <laughs> I was most excited to go through all of the clothes. I made sure that I touched every item, even if it was just for a second, to make sure that I wanted to keep it or get rid of it. I have a lot of pretty items that I haven't worn in ages, so they're not doing me any good hanging in the closet waiting for the off chance that I'm gonna wear them. So we're passing them on to give someone else joy now. I have had three children. My body's been a lot of different sizes. There's a lot of things that just don't fit my body anymore. I'm finding my style now that I'm not constantly changing sizes with children. And so I've been replacing items, finding things that will last longer, really just finding my style, what coloring actually works for me. So getting rid of a lot of this stuff was really, really nice. There were a lot of things that I instantly just knew I didn't need to keep. And some things I, it was a little bit harder, but honestly, getting this all thinned out was just, it was just a really nice feeling to do it. So I'm gonna keep clearing out all these clothes. We have shoes to go through. We have all of the cubbies. I'm gonna play some music. We're gonna go through all my clothes, get it all done. This felt so good to get rid of so much.
clothes and sweaters are done, we are moving on to shoes and the cubbies. I used to work for Nordstrom and I did sell shoes for a number of years and I've just always had an overabundance of shoes. So I made it my goal to really get rid of as many as I could. I had already gone through my high heels when I did a closet purge in the fall, so I didn't need to touch those but I hadn't really gone through sandals or anything, even though it had already been summer. So it did feel really good to go through these. I got rid of a number of pairs of shoes. I just kept flats, things that will go with like my dresses or nice outfits, depending on an event that we might be going to. But otherwise I did pare down the shoes quite a bit and now it's time to pare down the cubbies. This honestly was a harder section than the hanging clothes. I, you know, I wear pajamas, I will wear like a daytime outfit. I also have clothes that I wear when I'm doing a lot of cleaning, like leggings and t-shirts and things like that. So I do keep a little bit more here than some might think is necessary, but I kept things that I wear regularly and got rid of a lot of stuff that I likely was not going to wear anymore. But there's also just a lot of stuff that with the summer coming, I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear it. So there were a few things that I saved that were for the summer and we will do another closet purge come fall and get rid of whatever doesn't make the cut this summer. anybody else phasing out the skinny jeans I did keep a couple of pairs because I love them we are on the last cubby this is my workout clothes I have a lot of race shirts that I don't really know what to do with I'll wear them occasionally though if you have any ideas I know people have like made blankets or hung things on the wall I don't know if I'm that person but I am open to any and all suggestions on what you think I should do with all of those shirts I have a few favorites that I like to wear, but some of the other ones I don't, but it feels weird to just get rid of them. I don't know, I guess I could just get rid of them, but that is all of the clothes that I went through. I got rid of shoes, belts, all of the sweaters. I got rid of a ton of items. I counted the hangers and I think I got rid of over 20 hanging items and that's just the hanging items alone. I should have counted everything. It was wild. I got rid of so much. So I'm gonna get everything packed up into bags, get it set aside for donation. I need to vacuum in the closet still and get all of the shelves put back together and then we can see the final result. I'll show you where I put everything. It felt so good to get rid of all of this stuff.
here's the final product. I just put my seasonal stuff up here and just a few things that I'm holding on to. I moved my sweaters up off of the floor because I end up just throwing things on top of them. So I will pull them down when I need them, but for the most part, they're fine up off the floor and they will keep the kids from climbing in them because they do that a lot. That is all of Connor's CPAP stuff. So I'm just gonna keep it in there. I don't wanna mess with that because he knows where everything is. Up here, I mean, it's still just a non, like this is just not meant for a closet, but we have it. So I'm going to utilize it until we come up with a plan on what our permanent solution is going to be. I just have old journals up there. Connor and the boys Taekwondo stuff, like their broken boards from their belt tests and things. My old purses that I want to hold on to for Alice. And then these bins just have odds and ends in them. And then just some of the bags that I still use occasionally. I use a lot smaller of a purse usually, but sometimes I need something a little bigger. Running stuff. And that's it. So like, I'm glad I kept this up here. It is not beautiful, but it is functional. So can't complain too much. Believe it or not, I did pare down my clothes. It just seems like a lot, but I do wear all of these things pretty regularly. So hold on to that. I did get rid of quite a bit in here. I got rid of a number of shoes. The only things I have on the floor now are just some of my slippers and my Uggs, which I will never part with. I love them so much. And then just my dress shoes and stuff, but it is a lot more pared down. It's a lot less overwhelming. Well, we definitely have to do a before and after. So I'm gonna show you the before and the after while I say my goodbyes. Thank you so much for your time. I so appreciate it. I hope this gave you some motivation to clean out your closet. It definitely was a labor of love, but it was so worth it. It felt so good to get rid of all of those clothes that I just did not need. They were just taking up space and there was no way I was gonna wear all of them. But. Thank you so much for your time. I so appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I hope you'll continue to hang out with me. And especially, I hope that you are doing well. I will see you next time. Bye. Yeah.